Hello and welcome to segment two of how to break a Viganair the old-fashioned way. I'm going to apologize in advance that this isn't as polished as it could be. I'm trying to do this very quickly for some students who had uh, trouble with the Viganair cipher uh, and or those who weren't able to make it to class. Um, so in the first segment, what we did was use Kosicki babbage analysis on the cipher text uh, to make our best guess and about how many alphabets it was encoded with and we determined that it was six alphabets. So I've made six columns here. Um, the second thing that we did was once we determined that we chopped the ciphertext up into six different chunks each chunk we believe being enciphered by um, the same alphabet. So there were six chunks one for each alphabet we think was used. And so the insight is we're going to do analysis on this um, alphabet and probably the most frequently encoded letter with this alphabet was E so whatever the most frequent letter in that ciphertext uh, that chunk of the ciphertext is we're gonna assume that E was encoded by that and we are using a Viganair tableau where each alphabet is actually just a shift in the normal alphabet so it's 26 shift ciphers um, if you're using a keyword based Viganair tableau or key phrase based then it, this isn't going to work for you exactly in exactly the same way. It won't be quite as easy. You can still use these methods. Uh, your, your frequency analysis is just going to be a little more difficult. Um, so another thing that we can do to check our hypothesis about how many alphabets are being used is to use the coincidence tool. We get a copy of our ciphertext and paste it in here. The, if you remember from class, the index of coincidence will tell a, will give us a good estimate, a rough estimate of how many alphabets there are. Um, if we, if it's normal English using one alphabet, we're looking at a, an index of coincidence about 0 .066. Um, if we think there are six, then we're going to want something between 0 .045 and 0 .042. So I'm going to guess six will be just below five. So we're guessing somewhere probably about 0 .044 and that's what we end up with so it looks like six is a pretty sound guess so we determined that s and either q or n s would be the first letter of the keyword and q or n would be the second let's go back to the output of the splitter tool grab the third chunk throw it in the frequency analyzer tool here the most frequent letter is m so we go back to the Viganair tableau from the wikipedia site E being encoded as M would be would mean we're using the I alphabet. So we're going to put I in here in the third slot, and now we'll move to the fourth alphabet. Go back to the splitter tool, copy, analyzer tool, frequency analyzer. X is the most common. Go back to the Viganair tableau. E being enciphered as X means that T is the alphabet that was used pop in a T there and we'll move on to the fifth alphabet go to chunk number five here go to the frequency analysis tool get the letter frequencies so these are pretty close G and V so we'll take a look at both of them and put them as options E being enciphered as G would be C and E being enciphered as V would be R so we're gonna go here and we're gonna put C and R as options now we'll take a look at the sixth alphabet, the chunk encoded with the sixth alphabet here. Paste it in, get the letter frequencies. A and L are very close. Um, probably one is E and one is T. We will assume that both of them are possible for E. So, oh, there we go. A and L. So E being encoded as L would be H and as A would be W. So come back here, H or W. And those of you are, who are Harry Potter fans will immediately recognize the word snitch. So you go through here and find the most com most likely uh, word. And if we go back to here, go back, use the Viganair cipher tool, Paste in, oh, we need the whole cipher text. Paste it in, put in snitch as the keyword, decrypt it, and voila.